Yo. What is up, sucker mother lovers? I guess this review was better late than never, so here we go. Us. How y'all doing, sucker mother lover? First of all, and now, and, and none of you mother lover sucker nuggers, mother lover sucker nuggers, that's hilarious, but ain't none of y'all say nothing about the fact that the season finale for uh, Love and Hip Hop New York was about to happen in a day or so. That's okay. It don't matter. I did my part. I did my part, Second Mother Lovers. I sat here on Saturday and watched all of them episodes. I had only seen two of the episodes, so I had to watch all those episodes. So I was so excited that I was caught up and I was ready to, like, get back on track. Yeah. I was in for a rude awakening. I only realized that today was the season finale. Dang, but it was still good. So let's get right into it. I just want to quickly talk about the fact that uh, Joe went on ahead and proposed to Tia. First of all, I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to say yes. Look at that. Like, he got them up there to my love is, patience, and this and that. And he walked up. First of all, was I the only one that was super irritated? Like, can you throw the gum away while you trying to, like, propose? He's like, first of all, I'm here. So I'm like, you got to stop. I understand that kind of makes with some drug people, whatever. I, it, it, you just had to throw it. Just for a quick second, till he said, will you marry me? How shameful, though. And... Times Square, you done got denied access. It, it, denied. Shameful. But I know that was hurtful. Everybody was sitting there with the signs. They was like, fold up the signs. Fold up the signs. It ain't happening. Okay, I'm a, mm. We ain't none, none of you. We tourists like the rest of y'all. Oh, that's shameful. And this is my outlook with the whole Erica Mina, Mina, whatever her name is, Sin, and uh, uh, Rich uh, No Dollars. Let me just say this, first of all. Erica wrong as hell. I, now, I could be just late. I missed some little blogs and all that stuff, but this is my personal opinion. Erica is wrong as hell. First of all, you already knew working with Messy Rich, corny ass Richie, was going to bring drama if you were still... Like, that's that's a no-brainer for anybody. If you know that you still kind of sort of in love with this guy or love him or still have some type of lust for him, why in the freak would you bring him involved? I can understand if it was Jay-Z, then you're going to have to take one for the team and play, hey, shout it. You need chill, shout it. I'm, I'm about to do this. Stay at home, watch Good Times. I'm about to bring in these checks. Situation like that, okay. But Rich Dollars, when he ain't really rich, he kind of like medium dollars. Like, whatever the case, I'm like, how would you, why would you even do that when you have this good relationship? But you have some people that they thrive off of drama. And that's what I get from Erica. The fact that he did all this stuff to you last season, what makes you think he wasn't going to do it this year? Because you signed a piece of paper? That don't make nothing. Come sit on daddy's lap. You're going to always be my, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. I was like, I'm really feeling a little Stevie J-ish in there. Like, I don't know, it's just too much. And you know this man is going to hate. Like, it's not too many men that are okay to deal with watching their ex-girlfriend be with a woman. Like, and she's a beautiful woman too. And you sit up there looking at them talk like this. They kind of always talking like Lucy and you know all this. I can't really think of who they was talking about. But I'm sure I will one day and I have to come back and say it. Whatever the case. They had these like, you know, thick accents, beautiful women without him. He upset. His testosterone levels was going up too high. Sit the hell down. But y'all, did Sin call him bitch dollars? I passed out. I I I wasn't expecting that. I like to go back to the back past when Tara had on that uh too tight look him off in that blonde wig. I was like, who is this damn ghetto ass ratchet girl? What Tara girl, what are you doing? Now, you already be confused me when your body be like playing tricks on me. I was like, but you didn't went like and I get it. I thought the wig was supposed to be for like, you know, bedroom. Hey, it's Miss Nasty Sasha coming in to serve you. Not like I wasn't ready and I couldn't even concentrate on the scene on the scene because I'm like how are you a size zero and where did you find a size negative four in a bodysuit like I need to understand like I really 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 feel like that was real life Barbie doll clothes and she just put it on because she little so I'm like how do you find a two tight bodysuit suit being that little like disrespectful Ugh. so Rich is low-key revealing that he done messed with uh Erica or whatever she came over to the house and they didn't bang now this is the thing I don't have anything against bisexual women. I don't have anything against gay women. I have against anything against straight women. What you do is what you do. Let me just say this, though. Bisexual, I can't stand bisexual women at double dutch. What I mean by that is them women that sit up there, they with a man today, tomorrow they with a woman, and then one day they with a woman and a man, and then just passing all that stuff around. That's not fair. 
Like, you don't get to do that. And especially since you in a relationship, sit your old confused ass down somewhere. Like, if you don't know what the hell you want, go read a book. Figure that out. Google it. Take a test. I'm sure there's an Am I Gay test on there. They got every kind of other test on my fingernails, real. Like, you can figure it out. So, find out if you're even really gay or if you really, I don't know. Do something. Because right now, you playing with people. You you about to mess up this girl. Seeing she ain't going to never want to date another woman. She ain't going to never want to date nobody. You are messing it up for everybody. Y'all, what was Nicholas doing on this show? Aren't you supposed to be on Real Husbands and Housewives? Go take care of them babies. Boy, how he get on this show? I was like, girl, that man is forever in a suit. He goes to the grocery store in them same four-piece suits. Like, girl, I guess Mariah said, you represent us. Don't you leave out this house without your suit on. Go put on your suit, boy. He probably got to wear a suit to the pool. So Peter Guns think he going to be faithful to Amina and her teeth? He's not. Like, come on, let's just all be real. Like, he's not going to be faithful with her. Like, how you going to... How you get them is how you lose them. Nobody's exempt, for, exempt from the rule. Nobody. Subscribers, all y'all, all my second mother lovers, y'all ain't exempt. I'm not exempt. Ain't nobody exempt from it. You get a man or a woman the wrong way, that's how you gonna lose them. Uh, I, I actually was a victim of that before. I ain't gonna even, I was like, oh, damn, this thing came back, girl. That karma comes around harder and stronger. I tell y'all people that. So Saigon and Erica Jaden finally went on and moved in together, you know, and I think that I applaud them for at least trying But uh, Erica you may want to uh, take your purses and have like a retractable string on them for when he throw You can kind of reel it back in like a fisherman pole or something cuz I'm like that was a Gucci that went flying a Louis or somebody that don't need to be going flying nowhere So I was like, oh hell now nah. hell now nah. when I saw that episode I was like and you back, but I get it. That's her baby's father, so she got to deal with him. But he, he gonna chill. You gonna chill, Charlie, for real. For every price you throw, you got about two more. You gonna throw another one? Didn't think so. We got to, we gonna sign a contract or something. But they finna try to move in together for the son, and I think that's a good idea. But then I'm like, they didn't even got the boxes to the house unpacked again. He already asking if he can bring people home on the way. Well, bringing women home on the way home. I'm like, can y'all at least get home? And can she put her clothes in the closet before you start asking for threesomes? Oh, oh my God. So when Rashida and Tahir was going off, I was like, first of all, when they went off on the last episode, I was like, am I missing something? So clearly, I, let me tell you something. I didn't watch any of the episodes last uh, season. So I probably missed a whole big chapter. Like, so I don't really know a lot of stuff. So please forgive me for that. But I was looking at Rashida and Tahir and I'm like, why are y'all going so hard on each other? Like off of this, like the thing that I did notice with Tahir is that she didn't want to hear the truth. Like your friend trying to tell you, like, ain't no man going to sit there and put a I mean, clearly the rules have changed though. She haven't been reading the blogs because, you know, men are starting to wipe up, wipe up the holes everywhere these days. But I guess Tahiri, you know, Rashida felt like Tahiri needed to, in, in order to get a quality man, she needed to stop, I guess, posing and different magazines and doing stuff. But, you know, some women, if you got it, you flaunt it. You know, I mean, she want to still do that stuff. So that's her route. Like, you can't knock that woman. And you can only be so vocal for so long. Like, if you see that your friend not hearing you and she don't want to hear that, like, respect that. Like, don't sit up there and start talking down on her, calling her tight see-through. They start talking about each other wigs and stuff. I was like, like, come on, y'all going too far. Like, you got to know when to pause, especially when this is a friend and somebody you care about. Don't say those hurtful words to somebody when you're angry. If you really feel like somebody got some issues going on, talk to them. But don't, don't, when you get angry, that's when you start saying stuff. They're not going to respect that either. And that, it does make you look like a hater. It does. Because I, you hate You hate You don't care about my life. You just hate Y'all, but did Tahir say that you was on that 60-day challenge and you mad that your body ain't come out like mine? Mm. That was fighting words. I just slapped the shit out of her, like hard. So as soon as Sin walked up, Rich Dollars was ready. He was like, what's up? I was like, "You." he was already plotting. He already knew what he was what he was about to do. And it made me so mad. And then when Erica came out to perform, I was like, well, she a computer, is she a computer-generated performer? I can't stand him, Mike. Seriously, Millie, Millie and Vanilla sh should be able to come back because all these computer-generated artists, like seriously, if you can't sing, like right now, go, I am telling you. You can't do it. Sit your ass down. Stop with the computers. Like, what you gonna do when the system shut down? You gonna sit up there talking about? No. Stop it. What I don't like is if Erica was still confused or whatever about, like, Rich. But, like, why would you bring somebody else in there? And then, even if you were, like, at least talk to her. Like, that's what I cannot stand. Like, no matter what relationship you're in, if you feel in some type of way, like, be honest. Like, somebody gonna respect you more. You ain't, in 2014, people will probably stick around. I know y'all saw that Catfish episode when that black girl was told that dude to go see if he wanted to be with her and she was gonna be here, but she really wasn't okay, but she was hoping she was gonna win. I'm serious. Like, be honest with people, man. You, you get a whole lot further when you're just honest. I swear to you. 
Rich Dollars kept sliding in and him and Erica was still banging. I want to punch him in the face. And Sin was right. He cares absolutely nothing about Erica. All he cares about is trying to get Erica from Sin. That's it. Once he get her, he going to use her and throw her out on the street anyway. He don't give a damn. I like how Sin kept closing the door. Your ass ain't going nowhere. I'm like, to me, she was already showing she was guilty. Because if somebody comes to me and I'm like, did you blah, blah, that? Hell no! That's my first response because I know that's the truth. I'm not about to sit up here and be like, let me go talk to him. The hell you need to talk to him for? Did you or did you not? You were there. You know what happened. You know what you sat on or what you didn't sit on. Were you surfboarding? Now, see, it's hard for me to feel sorry for women like Amina because I'm like, you knew that he had a wife. Now, if he was really lying to her, then I'm like, okay, I guess I kind of have to soften my heart a little bit because it's just like women, just kind of like Jocelyn, like when she was already involved with Stevie J and then she found out, you know, he did have a girlfriend or whatever. It was like, okay, I'm already involved. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I guess certain situations is like these cer certain signs. I feel like you should pay attention. But the fact that she just feel like he's just going to be super faithful to her because her name is Amina and she has more teeth than Tara is like ridiculous to me. Like he pulled out the ring. She's like, where would you get it from? Why does it matter? He got it from the store. Duh. You know what? I really like Yandy. Now, Yandy could be kind of uh, messy on the cool. She'll just slide in information just to make sure the drama go down and be like, oh, oh my God, like, how did this happen? Uh, it could be that information due to the spill, but whatever. But the fact that Mendeezy is locked up, I know that has to be hard on her, like, reality show or not. Like, could you imagine, like, oh my God, I'm engaged. What, where you going? What you mean you don't know when you're getting out of jail? What? Like, that is just unreal. Like, I mean... But I tell people all the time, if you do the crime, you got to spend the time. Like, so nobody's exempt, Apollo. You too. What, what's up with these people? I want. I need to do a whole video on Apollo. Ooh, the plot thickens. Mm-hmm. That's a video I got to do. Oh, Erica with your confused ass. Now you sit up here going to visit Sin or whatever because you trying to make stuff right. But like Sin said, I ain't got time for this. Like, I didn't ask for this, girl. Now I'm sitting up here. You didn't turn me out. Now you got me all up in the middle of this mess. Ain't nobody got time for that. I, girl, I hear you. Yeah, Erica old selfish ass gonna talk about that night was supposed to be about me. Not if you sit up the surfboard on him and sliding on, you know what, then you gonna sit up there and try to act like, you know, like, this last thing, don't make me look dumb. I don't give a damn where we are. Like, just as long as it's not church. Like, because I'm going to get you. I'm going to come. I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you. Like, I usually don't agree with, you know, the public drama. But sometimes people, some, you need to add a dirty laundry out sometimes. Y'all know K. Michelle is smart. Do y'all realize that every scene that she is in, she's either singing, writing, doing something towards her career. Like, for real, for real. She's like, don't worry. I'm finna milk it this time. Like, she, like, her drama level is, like, way low. She, like... I'm going to sing. Y'all can come talk to me about y'all advice, but boot school, I got to finish singing. Uh, Miss Yandy, that little white and blue jacket you had on with the little purple look, I need that. I don't know if it was a jacket, a shirt, or I don't care. I need it. Like, I was sitting up there trying to pause the camera and take a picture so I could try to make it. Oh, it's bad. Did I miss a couple of episodes? Did I miss that K. Michelle had a child? Like, why do we not ever see her child? Like, did she just... Maybe she's one of the people that want her child to have a normal childhood, so I'm not going to knock her. But I'm like, I don't know if I've ever even mentioned her... I mean, heard her mention anything about a child. Like, am I just like that in the dark? Like, I... I miss that. So, in conclusion, Tahiri and Joe, they still trying. He went and brought her flowers while she out. He didn't kiss her and walked away. She was like... <laughs> he was like, take the flowers. She looked like them same flowers that uh, Joe... Uh, had given to, uh, I think he gave them to his, uh, to Amina and she threw them in the street. I like, they sure look like the same daffodils. Eric Amina, this your conclusion. Stop messing with Rich Dollars. Don't, don't come back next season and be like, you know what, third time's a charm. Have fun with it. You want somebody to respect your lip singing and your computerized voice, you're going to have to cut down the bullshit, for real. Erica J, good luck to you with, uh, moving on into his house or whatever. I, I hope that works well. Again, take my advice, get the bungee cards attached to your purse. That way, when you try to do it, bring it on back. Just a word of advice. Peter and Amina, yeah, we, we understand y'all married. Y'all say nobody believe in y'all marriage. Yeah, you probably right. I know I don't. I, I, I believe in it as much as I do reality TV. That's slim to none. I, it's kind of questionable that you really even uh, a panky. I don't know if I want to marry somebody with last name panky. For real, panky. Give me your panky finger. Uh -uh. Girl Tara, keep moving on, girl. I know it's hard, girl, because 13 years is a lot of time to invest in somebody just to walk away. But be realistic about the situation. When you know stuff wasn't right at the five-year mark, you got to learn when to walk away. 
That's true, T. And that's to anybody. For real. No one to leave. Girl and K. Michelle, keep up the good work, girl. I'm still listening to your music, girl. You good, girl. Keep it up, girl. I'm still mad I didn't know this was a season finale. But anyway, Sucker Mother Lovers, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this video is definitely long enough. I got to go now. I'm out. I ain't got no dog up here. If I had a teddy bear, roof, roof. I ain't got nothing. I'm just planking, nigga. Say another word. Ooh, say another word. I came with that name.